Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this job lot of double OEH items, various bits and pieces that I bought from an antique shop. I really have no idea what I've bought, so this video is going to be just seeing if I've been ripped off or this is actually worth my money. As you can see, there's a few engines in here, the Terrier over there, this is J72, and I Gonna be honest, I have no idea what that is. I'm assuming it's gonna be American. Really have no idea. Hopefully someone can help me out. And then there's various coaches and there's a couple wagons in here and stuff. There's a tender from another British locomotive. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Um, I'm just gonna get these all out. So, starting off with these coaches here. These are the old Tryon coaches, which I still think today can look respectable. Um, if they've been, they can be slightly modernized, have metal wheels put on them. And then they can run on modern track. These do have the older decouplings, so they can still run on the modern track. So I do think they're always worth picking up if you can, because they can always fill out a rake or something like that. There's a couple of them in here. This one's also the same. They're, they're very filthy, definitely dirty. Do need a wash, I will do that. But yeah, this one's also missing its wheels. There's another one here. This one looks like a brake. This does have its original wheels on, which is sometimes a bit of a problem because they have the bigger flanges on and they will bounce over the points, but still a nice coach. And there's another one in here as well. So that is a set of four. This one, same, still with its wheels on. They are ni they're nice enough coaches. Then there's this quite nice, I believe this is also trying. Yes, it is. This trying blood and custard coach here. Um, well, overall condition is not too bad at all. It will look quite good on my layout. There's a few bits of paint missing, but could always just have been a coach of a hard life. I know they were looked after quite well, but could be coming to the end of its days. Not too bad, quite like it. Does have the outer white rims on them, that's quite nice. Not too bad. Um, and then there's a few Annie and Clarabel, Thomas Tank Engine coaches there, there's a few of them. I'm not particularly interested in them. Um, so, let's get a wagon out. This is a standard box van by the looks of things with, well, some sort of circus livery on it, I suppose. I've never seen this before. Um, it's a Hornby wagon, so it's not too old. It's got nice metal wheels on. They could always be harvested for something else. Because um, I probably won't be running that, but it's nice enough as it is. It's not too bad. Then there's what looks like a much older wagon here. This is Worthington on it. Um, it does say something else on the bottom as well. Filthy. Eco. Pico, it probably says actually that would make more sense. Um, but there is a hole in the it probably says Pico, so it's an old Pico wagon. Um don't think I've seen one of these before. It's quite nice though. It looks like it might be kit built. Because but it's quite heavy, it feels quite heavy. And it might just look good in a side in like a bit neglected. I might not clean that up and just leave it as it is in the side in. Um there's a nice northeastern brake van here. That's not too bad. Overall, I think it's a mainline one judged by the couplings. Um, is that mainline or backman? I can't. I think it's mainline. It's not too bad. Overall condition on that really isn't that bad at all. So I'll put that there. That can pretty much is almost ready to run. I can just run that straight away. Um, and there is the Texaco tanker here, which is quite nice. They came in like basic sets of wagons and stuff, but still nice, nonetheless. So I'm just gonna put that over here as well. So far there's quite a few things here. And there's also a milk tank in the corner, a nice six wheeler. It's not too bad either. The middle axle doesn't, looks a bit, oh no, that's all right, it's just clipped back into place. So overall that's nice as well. That can run in the rake of milk tanks I'm building up. That might need a bit of a service though, those axles were pretty stiff. Over there. So, what else have we got? Oh, there's another coach there from the Thomas set. And there's some strange people in here. Maybe they could be the mascot of the channel. He looks quite scary. Maybe not. And I'm just going to move the tender out of the way. There's a nice signal gantry here. That's quite nice. Um, yeah, I quite like that. It's a much older one. I'm not quite sure. Crescent. Um, I do have a few of them on my railway, these particular ones, there's one there. Um, I do have one elsewhere, but I can't see it for a minute. These are not bad at all, they do the job, I, I quite like the look of them really. 
Um, I just think they're a nice addition to any layout really and they're quite old and I like old stuff. And then we have these traffic lights here. These look quite nice as well actually. They're also probably the same era, probably the same company. Oh wow, no, they're actually dinky. Oh, that's quite good. That could possibly go in my dinky toy cabinet. Um, I have a few dinky toys, but it could always sit at a junction on my layout as well, not too worried. That's quite nice. Definitely like that. And um, what else have we got? There's... Ah, that's probably the chassis to that coach there. There you go. There's a four... There's four... and Well, two sets of Annie and Clarabo in here then. Um, so, I suppose I better start looking at these engines. So let's get this American one out first, I suppose. I'm going to put it over here. Just clean this up a bit. Um, Condition-wise, definitely, definitely something. Um, you can see this ham rail's been bent right out the way. And smoke box door's missing. There is a light in there, so maybe I can see if this runs. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one of the poorer condition locomotives I've seen. You can see the motor in there and everything, but that's not in the best of conditions, really. Um, I'm just going to spin it round. Yeah, it's not too great, but you never know, it could run. I'm just going to go grab its tender, which does actually look like it's got real coal in, which is a nice addition. So at some point, somebody treasured these. Yeah, that's quite a nice tender though. It's got all metal wheels on it. Pickups on the wheels as well. That's quite a nice feature. So it would have been a reliable engine. It probably still is. I have no idea. I've not tried it yet. Um, and I assume this tender goes with that engine. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but they were in the box together and I don't see anything the same. Um, does the tender have a draw bar? It does, but it's bent under there for a minute. I'll sort that out at a later date. But that's not too bad. Don't know why the camera's gone a bit fuzzy. There we go, that's better. Sorry about that. That's not too bad. That's it's an all right. It's all right. <laughs> it's definitely the loco itself is in poor condition, but it's all right. So I suppose I'll have a look at the terrier as well. Always quite like the terriers. This one as well, as you can see, it's in a job lot of stuff. So condition isn't going to be brilliant. And there's a random spring here, just going to move that. Buffer's missing. Both buffers, but the whole buffer beams are missing. But the actual overall condition of this Terrier, apart from it being dusty, and the coupling being slightly damaged, isn't all that bad. I don't think any, I really quite, I don't think it looks too bad at all. You can see a bit in the cab there. That isn't bad at all, really. Um, they're always worth a little bit of money. Quite like that. Um, so I'm going to move on to what I believe is the J72. Just put that there for a minute. Um, the lighting's pretty poor there. Just going to move that out the way so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so I believe this is the mainline J72, which obviously they, I think they're split chassis. And they do suffer a lot from... Well, I think it's the axles give on these. And all these linkage rods, they're a little bit bent up and worse than I've seen, really. But that's not too bad. The whole engine itself isn't too bad. The obvious thing is the cab roof's missing, but I'm sure that's easily replaceable. And it looks like there's a pin missing in there, or it's been snapped at some point, so I might have to sort that out. Um, there's quite a nice builder's plate there. Don't know what... Not too bad, I don't know why the camera's not focusing. But that's not a bad condition overall, there's a few scrapes on it, but it's an old engine now, I suppose. The model's actually old. It's probably had quite a hard life, judging by the look of it. Um, and then that pretty much leaves us with this tender here. I'm not 100% sure what this is off. It looks kit built again, judging by the coupling. Oh, the oh it's got a Renfield motor in it. Oh, I suppose this was out of a tender drive loco of some sort. But either way, still a nice tender. And then all I've got left in here really is half a Lima diesel chassis, which is odd. Don't know why there's half of, well, three quarters of a chassis. And then 
one of these American style Pullman coaches, which I assume would go with the American engine, so I'm just gonna move it over here. It does have a different style coupling, but still nice nonetheless, quite like that. Might just it might just sit on the shelf, but still nice. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this Winfield motor, but might come in handy for something. There's also this little water tower here, which is also quite a nice quite nice cast metal. Hornby Double on this is. That's pretty much the last thing of interest in here. There is also a brake van body there. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do with that. And there's some random signs. Stop signs and that sort of thing and some traffic signal things. Not really sure what they are. And there's also a signal box with absolutely no windows. So I can imagine it's pretty dark in there. So overall, I don't think I did too bad. There's... Definitely, well, I paid £20 for this. I think it's worth it. Um, hopefully the engines work. But I think there's £20 worth of engines here. Because I think the Terrier itself isn't isn't far off that. But hopefully some of these engines work. And I can run some of this rolling stock. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.